Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nathan Angel, and today I'll be talking about transfer learning and more specifically using transfer learning to improve the accuracy of detecting pneumonia. I'll be breaking this presentation into four parts. First, I'll be talking about uh, deep learning. Next, I'll be describing how the transfer tool connects to deep learning. Um, and then I'll be uh, talking about uh, my project, uh, pneumonia dete detection. And finally, I'll wrap it up and summarize my findings. Deep learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence ecosystem. Deep learning uh, extracts patterns from using uh, data um, as a neural network as a guide. Uh, this deep learning algorithm mimics the human brain by connecting many nodes together, just like what you see in the picture to the right. By mimicking the human brain, it can achieve far better results than any other machine learning algorithm. There are many benefits to deep learning. Uh, with the help of deep learning, many com competitions that use deep learning uh, as a foundation of their algorithm uh, got a significant performance increase. No other model came close to deep learning's, uh, deep learning ac deep learning's accuracy. In applications like Google deep, Google's Deep Learning AlphaGo program, defeating a professional Go player, or Deep Learning's uh, translation, Google's Deep Learning translation tool, blowing out every other uh, language translation technique. As more data gets uploaded to the internet, the more importance deep learning algorithms will get. The reason because these algorithms thrive on massive amounts of data, i.e. big data, essentially the more data that gets passed through the algorithm, uh, the better the accuracy uh, it can and uh, will achieve. This is a massive difference between traditional machine learning algorithms because uh, with most of these types of algorithms, uh, the more data you feed into it, the accuracy or performance uh, of, the, um, of the model flattens out. Before transfer learning, it took a long time to train a model, especially for a large data set. This was because the model must compute each and every node's weight um, from scratch. But by, and by using many layers, like what we saw in the previous slide, uh, and connecting them, it got very complicated and time consuming for the model. To solve the dilemma of taking too much time and getting less accurate is results, People, or more specifically companies like Google, uh, developed this tool called transfer learning models. So basically, Google created a very large data set with a couple million images attached to it so that the model can learn and extract patterns from that data set. Because Google's transfer learning models had a vast data set, it took a long time for the algorithm to train. Nonetheless, uh, when the model completed its work, companies, Google, uh, Google developers created the system where they allowed the, the knowledge of that model to be transferred over to people like me for detecting pneumonia. Um, for my project, I use Google Collab for creating this deep learning model. Uh, this is a free service offered by Google, and it runs just like how Jupyter Notebook operates, but it runs so, solely on the cloud rather than running locally on your machine. machine. Most importantly, uh, the notebook you uh, uh, the notebook uh, you, you are working with can be edited simultaneously with different team members, just like how Google Docs works. And, uh, and lastly, most importantly, uh, with using the cloud, the service can provide more GPU computation, meaning with more GPUs at your disposal, it'll take less time for, uh, uh, to complete the model. I collected uh, for my data set 5,216 images that contain pictures with and without pneumonia, as you can see from the picture to the right. Uh, these images uh, will be used to train the deep learning uh, model. And the data set was offered by, um, to me, uh, free of charge by a public uh, library called Kaggle. I then uh, had 690 images for validation. These uh, will be used to assess the model's accuracy based on uh, what the model learned from the training data set. Having a couple thousand images is a good th uh, starting point uh, for creating a model, but uh, nonetheless, it is always a good practice to create more data if the opportunity arises. Um, that is where uh, data augmentation comes in. You can apply data, augmenta data augmentation by transforming the images by rot rotating them e either horizontally or vertically. 
um, I chose to rotate them horizontally. This not only, like I said before, creates more data, but it allows us to reduce overfitting. And overfitting occurs when the model knows in full detail the training data set. However, if the model gets uh, thrown any new data, like from the validation data set, it will not know if it has pneumonia or not, because the only thing that the model knows is the training data set. So by introducing more data to it uh, through data augmentation, we can reduce the impact of overfitting and allow the, the model to get better results, i.e. better accuracy. So the 5,216 images we have for the training data set was split into 163 batch sizes. Uh, each batch contains uh, 32 images. This, this reason, uh, the reason why we implemented batch sizes is because the model can learn and update quicker because it only has to go through 32 images instead of the 5,216 images. Um, with 163 batch sizes in mind, uh, we created 200 epochs from the deep learning algorithm to run through. As a model runs through the data, we initially thought that it will retain better accuracy. However, we were a little wrong by that. Um, as the model ran through more, as the model ran through more epochs, the less accurate the model got to be. So, as a result, uh, the model without transfer learning. Uh, the best accuracy that we got was around 89.28% uh, at an epox of 26. MobileNet V2 is a transferred learning model that I chose for my data set. Now, there are many different transferred learning models uh, that I could have chose, but I thought that this was uh, the best fit for me. This specific model is was designed by Google and is trained uh, on this very large uh, ImageNet data set. This data set contains around 1.2 million uh, training images, 50,000 validation images, and uh, 100,000 test images. Because of the vast data set that it was trained on, it has a total parameters of 2,257,984 parameters, meaning that it's a very deep uh, model that has a lot of learning attached to it. So uh, if you look at the orange line uh, running through the mobile net V2, transfer learning, uh, the um, mobile net V2 transfer learning model uh, gave the model better accuracy. As the model goes, uh, as the model goes, uh, passes through the green line, uh, you can see that the uh, model gets more accurate. This is because we set the freeze equal to false. By setting it to false, it essentially allows us to edit more of the transfer learning model's parameters um, to better fit our uh, data set. Or uh, and an another way of putting it, um, we essentially uh, allowed the model to edit only 1,281 of the 2.2 million parameters. This will make sure that when the model looks at our data, it can better detect pneumonia. So um, as a result, uh, with an additional 50 epochs, uh, we got our best accuracy of 92.88% and an epochs of 60. So um, deep learning is and will always continue to be uh, a very important algorithm in every aspect of our lives, um, such as, like I said in the beginning of the presentation, Google's deep learning uh, AlphaGo program, defeating a professional Go player, or D Google's uh, deep learning translation tool, blowing out every other language translation technique. Transfer learning is an invaluable tool that builds on top of deep learning to make it more efficient and uh, to achieve a better accuracy. Traditionally, without transfer learning, deep learning uh, algorithms required millions of images to train um, to get an accurate result. But with transfer learning enabled, I was able to train a small data set around like 10,000 images um, to get an accuracy of uh, 92.88. So uh, thank you uh, so much for your time. And uh, are there any questions?